So iBoss sent me this brand new Series X Ease Dry Filament Dryer. Is it any good? Let's find out. My name's Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. Welcome back to The Edge of Tech where we aim to educate and entertain the maker community. Like I said, iBoss sent me this brand new Series X Ease Dry Filament Dryer. You might remember right here they had another product last year which was really cool as well. But today we're gonna talk about this new Series X. We're gonna talk about the specs of the new Series X and then we're gonna put it to the test. Let's do it. The new Ease Dry has a great new design with a sleek black case. The front analog temp dial does not show temp, but it does show filament types. You simply turn the dial to the filament you want to choose and then it starts heating up. It has a side access, which makes it super easy to load and unload by just pulling this latch dropping down the side and pushing your filament right in here. It's kind of hard to see, but right here, it has a place inside the box for desiccant, so you can throw desiccant in there. It'll help take the moisture out of the air while the box is actively heating. As you can see on the back of the box, it does have a built-in fan to help provide circulation and pull the moisture out of that box. The box has two outlets, one here and one here, for PTFE tube to go so you can run your filament from inside the box out that tube straight to your printer. It can either go out the front or right out the top. Last but not least, on the front of the box is a hydrometer that's built in that tells you the uh, relative humidity inside the box at all times. This does not have a thermometer on it, just a hydrometer. So now that we know a little bit more about the Series X here, it has some pretty cool features, but we need to see how it performs. I have this atomic carbon fiber PETG. This has been out of the packaging for roughly a year and a half or so. Uh, it has just been sitting here in the garage in the cabinet over here. And I think this would be the perfect candidate to see how good this filament dryer does. Does it pull moisture out? Does it actually help? So what I'm gonna do is take the spool of Atomic PETG carbon fiber. We're gonna toss it on a scale and see how much it weighs. Then I'm gonna throw it in the filament dryer here and let it dry for roughly eight hours. We'll see, give or take eight hours. Once I get the filament in, we're gonna set it for PETG and we're gonna watch the humidity in the front. And we're also gonna watch the humidity and the temperature from another sensor I'm gonna set inside of this box, as long as it fits. We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> but I wanna see like an independent temperature and humidity inside the actual box. So we're gonna try to watch all of that in a time lapse that should be happening right now. Well, I tell you what, it's been about eight and a half hours since I turned this thing on and I started a time lapse on this GoPro right here. Well, the GoPro died. I can tell you this, if I look at the front of this thing, the hydrometer still says 10% humidity inside of here. That did not change the whole time, uh, which is kind of weird, but it still says 10% humidity. I did not use any desiccant in this. Uh, didn't come with any, so I didn't put any in. In the future when I use this, I probably will just because it's extra moisture pulling, right? It has been on that PETG setting like we saw this whole time and it is warm. I can definitely tell you the case is warm. It's warmer up in this area and maybe right here, but it's not hot. It's not hot to the touch or anything like that. And according to these instructions right here that came with it, the PETG setting is about 55 to 60 C and it should be uh, more than two hours to dry. So we left it in there for about eight and a half hours. What we're gonna do now is take the uh, carbon fiber atomic PETG out of this, set it on the scale and see what happens. Before we get to the conclusion, if you're getting value out of this video, please click that like button. I really appreciate it. It helps spread the video around to more people and it definitely helps the channel. Now let's get to it. So I'm gonna turn the scale on. I don't have my second camera on it right now, but take my word for it. <laughs> I'm gonna pull this out just like this. Now I can confirm the spool is quite warm. Holy moly, that spool is very warm, warm. So I'm zero grams on the scale right now. And if I set it on there and back off, let me just move back a little bit. Uh, I can confirm that it says 1169 grams. 
Now, when we started this, it was at 1171 grams. That is two full grams. Uh, would it be better if I left it in here overnight? Maybe. Would it be better if there was desiccant in there to help pull the moisture out? Maybe. Um, again, it didn't drop at under 10%, and the fan in the back, I could feel it pulling the air out. So the fan in the back like circulates like this. In the front where the spool holder is here, there's actually a vent in there for the fan, and it sucks it right through there and blows it right out the back. Yeah, I don't know, 1169 is what it's at. So we lost two grams. Could it be moisture from the form of filament? I would assume so because it's not like this got lighter on the spool or something like that. What I'm probably gonna do is grab some packets of desiccant that I have, stuff this thing full of desiccant in there, toss the spool back in there, throw it on the back counter and plug it in, and I'll post on social media what I found. Uh, for this video, we lost two grams. Is that a lot? Not really. Is it moisture? Probably, uh, I can't speak to that, but I can tell you this is a very warm roll of uh, filament right now. I thought the good thing about weighing it would be to tell if we lost any water weight or anything like that. Now, like I said, two grams isn't bad at all, but that was just eight hours and this thing has been out for a year and a half. So watch the socials. I'm gonna drop on there what I find. If this thing sits overnight, maybe it'll do better. Also, I could not put a temperature or hydrometer inside of it because there was no room anywhere for that. So I didn't get any of those temperature readings. Unfortunately, there just was no room. So I might have to try to get one with like a probe and I could stick it down in the, the little uh, fitting here and try that next time. So let me know in the comments what you think of this filament dryer just from this video. And if you have one or if you're thinking about getting one, I'd love to hear about that too. You know, personally, I think this needs to be on the list for consideration. It has active heating. It has a fan pulling the air out to keep the moisture flowing out of the box. I think if you put some desiccant in where the desiccant is supposed to go, it might help that moisture as well. Uh, and also, if you let it go for as long as you're supposed to dry filament, I'm assuming you could get some more out of it. I mean, two grams is two grams. I mean, that's still not bad, but I think we could probably do more. So let me know in the comments what you think. Well, it's always fun to check out new projects. I really appreciate iBoss for sending me over the Series X. Thank you again for that. I hope you guys learned something today, and as always, keep printing.